I know presents and everything ain't, ain't what Christmas is really about, but it's just kind of a spit in the face when they say their people don't have time to negotiate with us because they're going to be spending time with their families. And I mean, a lot of people might not even get to have a Christmas, really. You know, it's just a, just a smack in our face to do what they're doing to us. The company doesn't want to negotiate, except when it's convenient for them. They've got us out here for the holidays and then tell us to enjoy our holidays. You know, we haven't worked in going on three months now. Uh, I have a six-year-old that's expecting Christmas that's going to be a little thin because of all this. It started out no raises, quadrupling our insurance, taking away retirees' life insurance. We weren't even offered what we already had. I mean, it, it's completely taken away from what we already had. We just want to keep what we got. Uh, when we first started negotiating was they wanted 3% back. They want a 3% reduction in wages, and then 0% wages the rest, you know, the rest of the term of the contract. And then to go up to over $1,000 a month for our premium on our health care. And, that, I mean, no. <laughs> Ain't happening. We are the number one in the nation, let alone the world, for what we do, period. Elon Musk makes material, has material that comes out of this place. XXB, it goes straight to SpaceX. The aerospace industry, we've been on every space shuttle. I mean, we've, we're in the air every day. So everything is specialized. You have to know what's going on to be able to run that stuff. I mean, it's going in airplanes and submarines. and So it's, it's got to be right. And they don't accept it. You know, the customers don't accept anything less. And it takes these people to make that happen. You know, they bring in outside workers, scabs, whatever you want to call them to go in there and try to do our jobs. Personally, it pisses me off. If I was a customer out there, I wouldn't want something I know a bunch of scabs produce because they don't know what's going on. I was raised by this company. My dad was a machinist here for 35 years. And I'm standing here out on the line, not much pride at all with this place. I have pride in the brothers and sisters that I have standing around me. They're trying to put fit us against each other and it hasn't worked. If anything, it's made us stronger. I don't think they counted on that. I figured they counted on a bunch of division and people fighting with each other, and it doesn't seem like it's, at least from what I've seen, it seems like it's brought everybody together. We really have become stronger in our brotherhood, and I think, uh, and I, I'm really proud of that. And I'm really proud of the community that's come through. My name is Jim Ensco. I'm the owner of Nancy's Market. Uh, the men and women of the plant, they'd always make sure my mom was okay. And when she'd leave here out of here at 11, 11.30 at night, uh, they always made sure she got to her car. Uh, so it's personal. And so we'll stand with the, the steel workers until they get a fair contract. And uh, we'll stand with them after that too. Sometimes you have to stand up for what you believe in. We're st currently we're just standing up for a fair contract. We just want a, a good wage, fair wage, and keep our health benefits, you know, affordable. And uh, just to get back to work, everybody needs to get back to work. Get a fair contract for these people. I mean, that's what all of us are here for. You know, from the lowest guy, you know, us at the local, through, you know, Brian, the staff rep, all the way up to Conway, every, you know, everybody. This whole deal is built around getting fair wages, your fair benefits and a safe place to work so you can go home to your family and eat it. Get your ass back to the bargaining table and let's get a contract and get the people off the picket line and get them, get them a paycheck so they can take care of their family, so they can buy Christmas presents and set, you know, enjoy, the, enjoy the holidays instead of standing out there on the damn picket line freezing their ass off.